You ready? There is a connection between the paranormal, UFOs, and the myths of ancient history. The clues are scattered across the landscape from a forbidden past, maybe even in your own backyard. There is a connection between the true nature of our reality, consciousness, and the unexplained. I am Carl the Crusher. Let's explore the unknown. to the Carl Crusher channel. I've got an awesome video for you guys based on an idea that I got from my Patreon Inner Circle research request team. If you want to go put those requests in, make sure and go follow over on my Patreon page. But what we're going to do is go up to this ancient petroglyph site, take the electric e-bike up there, uh, the Velo Wave, to check them out. And I'm going to use an app on my phone to try and train myself and experiment how to 3D scan the whole environment. I'm going to scan the whole thing three-dimensionally using an app that I have on my phone. And we're going to see if you guys can experience more firsthand what it's like to be there and if I can find a way to translate this data over to you so you can either go to my website or somewhere to download the app and experience it with virtual reality so we can start to document and historically capture these sites and bring them to those of you who aren't able to come in person. Gotta do this one, my foot. Almost there. There's the petroglyph straight up ahead, guys. We made it. Ooh, there's all the petroglyphs up on the wall in this lower boulder. This is gonna be a fun day. All right, I'm going on the app right now, and it's pretty cool. I can already see it creating like a mesh over the environment. So first up, we're just going to try to walk around this boulder right here and see if I can do it. Uh, if I can keep going and do a big environment, I'm just going to keep going all the way up the hill and see what we get. But as we go, I'm going to try to also screen capture um, what I'm seeing on this point of view as well. So let's see if we can pull this off. Here we go. There we go. Here we are officially scanning the environment. Coming to the picture point now. So because I only brought my phone to do this experiment and then the little Insta360 camera that I left on the electric bike, I had to film it like this and the process was still really interesting and fun to do. So you can see me going around this lower boulder and you can see how the entire process of the app works. It seems to scan the entire environment three-dimensionally by stitching together all of these miniature triangles. And so I'm experimenting here, I'm trying to figure out like how well is it going to do with the texture of all of the grass and the bushes with the boulders and everything. Obviously it's doing a really amazing job with the, the hard surfaces like the, the rock surface here and this big boulder. Uh, the final result I am really satisfied with and really impressed with. And so 
here is a petroglyph on the back side, on the lower edge of this boulder when I pan back over to the right here. And you can see there's this little figure. I'm trying to like pick up these pieces as I figure out the app. I'm like, okay, so there's these kind of blue purple areas that the app hasn't captured yet. And so I'm realizing that as I walk past an area, I have to turn around and look back and get it from more than one angle. So as I'm using this app, I realized that like, okay, I actually have to scan around my feet to get the ground. I have to kind of get down below and get different angles. I can't just like walk around uh, like the cameras on a tripod. It helps to change the direction and the angle to go down low, to go up high and all of that. So I make my first big mistake right here. You can see on the face of this big boulder where that desert varnish is, I kind of am scanning the grass on the ground and I walk past this area on the rock and I don't look back. So there's this chunk right here where I accidentally skip over it. So you can see there's a hole in the boulder that forms right there that I didn't quite capture. But then I get too curious. I'm like, how long can I go? Was I, I was planning on just doing the boulder down at the bottom of the hill initially, but I thought I might as well stitch this entire thing together into an entire environment. And I started to wonder, can I go all the way up if I just keep going? So the idea is at home, if I make these files available, uh, I think through the app, I can add team members. So if anybody watching this is interested, you can go join my Patreon page and then that will give me your email, your preferred email, and I can add you as a team member to this exact file that I scanned. And then I think you can download it and go through on your own computer, on your phone and scan around or even put it into virtual reality and walk around this entire environment. So you could walk up the hill just like me and go back through the whole thing from the bottom of the hill all the way to the top. So at this moment, it like occurs to me that that potential is built within the app. And also, I'm uh, pretty sure that there's other settings in there. So I could go back to individual targets and boulders that are covered with these ancient petroglyphs and walk all the way around them and scan them with more depth and texture so that you can get how deep the carvings are actually pecked into the desert varnish and kind of how they all line up. Whereas the way I'm using this app right now is more for the environment. So being able to scan this whole range and right here, this blew my mind when I look back down the hill, it that it could keep track of everywhere that I'd been all the way down. You could see all the areas of data that I captured and all the areas still colored in that uh, kind of purple or blue color. You tell me in the comments, does it look purple or blue to you? It's kind of both, right? I guess it depends on what's the underneath color because it's a little bit transparent. But the challenge is outside without being like in a closed environment, like a room or house, you, you have all the grass, you have the weeds uh, and the bushes and everything. And then it's not like the, the boulders are perfect surfaces. There's a lot of uh, blind spots and hollow areas. You can see I move my hand in front of the camera a few times. But the ability to be able to scan these environments three-dimensionally, to capture them like this, and then preserve them for historical purposes or for educational purposes, I think is huge. Like imagine after I get done scanning this entire wall of ancient carvings that universities or schools, high schools, elementary schools, any, you know, homeschool kids or whatever, even you at home could potentially get on and put on virtual reality or go inside an app and visit this location and walk around like you're actually there. I think that's so cool. It's the next best thing to going on a full guided tour where you have somebody 
travel up there and you have to pay people to take you and then you're adding a lot of foot traffic and debris and people driving in and out and pollution and accidentally dropping water bottles and creating litter and a lot of people that don't know will go up and they touch the petroglyphs or they collect artifacts and pick things up and that slowly uh, loves them to death so that they end up getting destroyed or ruined or people steal things and so i think the opportunity to be able to capture this in virtual reality and stitch it all together so that people can come back up and revisit and look at them virtually is a really cool opportunity because not only will it preserve the petroglyphs but also open them up and make them more open source so that people can study them and also the possibility to patch in different alignments i think the ability to overlay the information from this type of data into star charts or solar charts where the sun comes up and sets or maybe finding out ways how you can take the data and put it into google earth and match it with bigger alignments like maybe this is sort of a map that someone could come up here and look at and piece together an ancient migration or a path of travel that leads to discoveries that uh, would change history as we know it so I think the potential for opening them up to more people to be able to visit and see these ancient petroglyph sites virtually without having to actually travel and go there uh, one at a time, but you can stand there in virtual reality three-dimensionally and still get the sense of the scale, see the detail, see how things have been damaged or moved, how boulders have fallen, how the geology has shifted. I don't know, maybe someone could even look at these petroglyphs up close in the uh, app or go in virtual reality and get right up close and be able to date like the lichen and the moss and the things growing on the rock so that we get more accurate uh, guesses towards the timeline or the date of the Fremont people or the, the Pueblo or Desert Archaic people that made these. And so I think it's a fascinating opportunity educationally and for preservation re reasons, but also for advancing the research. There's documentaries about Chaco Canyon where they take just like a simple spiral glyph and they use, you know, lasers and different GPS systems and they align simple petroglyphs that people, <clears throat> people might think is just graffiti and meaningless and they align it with these megalithic walls and other structures that are hundreds of miles away in the in the distance and i think that entire thing fascinates me the fact that over these vast distances a simple glyph or a standing stone or one marker could align with the with the stars or with the sun coming up on the solstice and that might give a path or direction that leads to other settlements or artifacts and tell a different version of history than maybe we've been told or validate the stories of the Native Americans and indigenous people that were here uh, before what is written in the textbooks and what we've been told. So I think it's an incredible opportunity to be able to feel like you're there, get the sense of it, get the height and be a part of the research and the project and overlay your own personal uh, expertise and everything without having to go to that environment and uh, tread around, walk around and contribute to the unfortunate destruction and deterior deterioration of these places. So I think it's a really cool opportunity also for people who um, are no, not able to travel or aren't capable physically of, you know, getting on a plane or going out hiking and all that stuff anymore. I think it's a really amazing way to bring these places to other people. So this is what the app did. As soon as I was done hiking around and told it to render, you can see the little diamond on there is like showing everywhere that I walked around as part of the process as I'm hiking up and down the mesa from bottom to top. It's kind of processing and stitching it together. And then as a final result, this just blew my mind. It's totally incredible. Uh, the detail. So it's just like a full three-dimensional version of being there in person 
and you can see how it's floating just in a hollow background. And there you can see the big mistake I made on the boulder down below where it's kind of hollowed out. So it's like it's empty on the inside. But there you have the petroglyphs up close. You can see the shine of that desert varnish that's uh, collected onto the surface of the rock that has been etched into with the glyphs. You get the texture and the feel of this giant boulder and you can see all the lichen as I pan around. I mean, you could even technically, if you knew time of day, tell a lot of information about these glyphs and the potential in the future to be able to put this data, uh, this virtual reality data and these petroglyphs into artificial intelligence once it's capable of interpreting it and then plugging that into coordinates or GPS in some way could provide all sorts of clues as to what uh, these lost cultures and, and people were trying to say. I think the potential for artificial intelligence to be able to decode some of these stories and messages and, and draw together the similarities and these alignments, like see how you can see now how this boulder looks like it fell down from up above. Imagine uh, being able to go hike around here in virtual reality like archaeologists and anthropologists and classrooms of people and even you at home would be able to go like you're here hiking around in person and explore this area. Not just waiting for me to pan the camera around and show you like this, but you could open the app and go in virtually and fly around and look at all of these artifacts up close and uh, see how it matches and see how it fits. Maybe you could throw star charts in behind it. Maybe you could um, see how it matches up with other petroglyph sites uh, through geography or through travel. And over time, we could virtually capture and preserve these locations before they get destroyed or built over by subdivisions or uh, you know, people go in there and, and litter and just like shoot them and things like that. But I think this turned out really well. I kind of did it uh, a little bit impromptu. I wasn't really planning on it, but look at this, even up high where normally I'm not able to see, it's like I can fly up there and there's two figures over on the right I never noticed before. And all those like diamond pattern etching over uh, to the left and on the middle there. And then you can even see the detail of these very old petroglyphs that look like feet going up the rock right there. It's a little bit blurry, but like I was saying, this is my first time just kind of improvising. I've never used the app before, and I thought I'm just gonna go up there and walk around. There's lots of blind spots and blurry spots and holes in it, but this is really cool. I think the opportunity here uh, is tremendous. I hope other people take this idea and run with it as well. I'm gonna go back to some of these sites that have big boulders that are carved like giant eggs uh, three-dimensionally. And I'm gonna do some more of that scanning of the, of the different variety where instead of just walking through and getting the whole environment like a virtual scene, I'll go up and do like really highly detailed LIDAR scanning so you can get a sense of the texture and the depth because a lot of these petroglyphs here that you see are some of the deepest carved and etched ones that I've found. And so some of this might be Spanish treasure markers that you could check for alignments and see how they match up as well. There's also, some of this is Pueblo or Anasazi. Um, very cool stuff to be able to share and bring with you guys and get a sense of it like you're there in person. You can even see some of my mistakes. There's my shadow. You know, I'm gonna learn, but this gives you a sense of what the app looks like when you're using it. I decided to zoom out at the end so you get a feel for it. So let me know, um, you know, you can measure, you can create videos out of it, you can crop in and out, you can do all sorts of cool things with this. So if you have any better apps that you recommend, other tools or even professional equipment that I can get, please let me know on the Patreon page. Thank you.